Welcome back to part two of the Bama Bass Recreational Swim Pond. Uh, I'm sorry, midday and I'm already, uh, blah, blah, blah. but anyway guys, uh, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, jump, check it out right here. I'm gonna put it up in the corner. Um, but we are out here and we just hit the ground running so I didn't catch the morning, but I'm gonna update with you guys what we've done today so far. And we are finishing up this peninsula here, right on the corner, um, opposite corner that I'm on now. We're gonna then be working into our intake bay, um, putting a couple large boulders, getting our intake bay set up, and then finishing this bottom uh, with smaller boulders around the outside. So coming along really nicely, really happy with what's going so far. Um, the design is killer. I've told you guys that already. Absolutely love it. Let me flip it around and show you what we've got. All right, so we got a variety of smaller stuff. Now this is really interesting stone. I told you I've never worked with it before. This stuff is so heavy. I mean, this, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, but you have to really work in with angles and slopes and different stuff with this rock. Not everything can have this like flat line to it. So you see how a lot of these boulders are shaped and angled kind of in different ways. So that's kind of what we're working on, but uh, yeah, you can see all this rock work has been done. We're gonna work on the intake bay and work into it with that rock work and then go from there. But let me get back to work and uh, I'll catch you guys up later. guys haven't updated you in a bit but wanted to jump on you guys have been seeing this time lapse uh, I was just talking with Ed and it's Boy, it's a pretty cool spiders. time lapse today Cut we went from bare dirt floor. to liner yeah, underlayment yep. basin intake and yeah, all the way to rocks and logs by the end of the day so um, we've got a good amount of rock work done on one side we've got our intake bay all put together and if you guys don't know what an intake bay is um, I'll go into more depth and you probably can find another video of ours with uh, a little more depth on an intake bay But basically it's a large custom skimmer our pumps are going to sit in the bottom um, Water is going to flow over and then in through aqua blocks which are water storage modules and Then down through those through beds of gravel to pre-filter it to keep all the debris out into the pumps pumps will then pump it to the top into the wetland filter and that is going to filter our water, keeping this water perfectly clear. Um, so we've got that in, and we're starting to work on boulders around it and stuff. This is a super cool system. I love intake bays. Um, on larger ponds, they're just an absolute must. Like, just looks incredible. But I'm sure you guys want to see what I'm talking about, so let me flip it around and give you guys a walkthrough of what we got going on right now. All right, you can see our rock work. And I know it's difficult to kind of understand what's going on if you don't have an eye for it or you can't kind of see. Um, but for all you creative types, you can kind of see what we've got going on here. We've got some vertical ones. We've got some horizontal ones. We really want to break it up. We've got some slants like this guy. Um, this big chunk is in here. We got these two pieces capping off our peninsula. This guy here is going to kind of lean forward a little bit, get gravel all around it and this black covered up. 
and water lilies are going to grow in here and our water level is about right there so that's going to look incredible love that chunk um this is the intake bay i was talking about we're going to frame it out on this side as well kind of blend it into this boulder and that water is going to kind of work its way in there now an intake bay allows you to have an area where the fish can swim in swim around swim out but all your debris is going to go in there and gather so you can just skim it out um, so all of that flow is going to come out of our waterfall, kick down, swirl around where I am. Jets are going to be right in this area and get kicked that way. And then the intake bay will pull it in right over that block. That rock is just over, out of water and that rock is just out of water. Um, so that, <laughs> that rock right there is all of four feet, uh, four and a half feet. So really cool um, rock work going on right now. We are working on something really, really cool with one of those trees. We're going to try to get that thing just to wrap all the way in there. So going to be really neat. Um, very excited about that. All right, check out that piece of driftwood. Really nice find. Way to go, Steven. <laughs> what a piece. Well, it goes that. above, it goes above. So three you foot see it's got up. some like nice... Moss and lichens. It's going right there where Trevor is standing. It's going to kind of cover up um, a joint between two rocks where we have a gap right now. And then we're going to really dress it up with moss and rocks. And we'll have lilies growing up around the outside. So it's going to be pretty. All right, guys. Last thing for the day that we're trying to get accomplished is we're going to drop this massive branch from that oak tree that we cut uh, cut the branch off of yesterday. And just look at this thing. I can't even capture the whole thing in my camera. Sorry guys, I'm trying to back up and get it all for you. But uh, there you go, look at that. Goodness gracious. What a tree. What a branch, that was only a branch off that tree. There we go, look at that, I'm gonna catch the whole thing. Oh man. That's gonna go right here in the pond. We're gonna try to get it to play off this kind of whole edge using this curve of this tree. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but if we can get that to play off or we can get plant pockets behind it and boulders around it, that is gonna be absolutely incredible. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh man. Oh, it's fun playing with big machinery and big rocks and awesome tree branches uh, cool all right so last thing we got done last night was this tree we got this thing put in this morning right away we focused on getting boulders just finger boulders that are kind of at an angle along there allowing that to be a fish cave up underneath it allowing us to do a planting pocket behind so we've been working on that most of the morning um, getting that kind of the way it needs to be we're currently working on getting some um gravel kind of backfilled over in here and uh getting some small chunks just kind of filled in with a little bit of a, a landslide look coming through here um ed and greg and chris have been working on this we got the two pillars in for the dock so that's where that dock is going to go right in there and we're going to get this cove to kind of peek out and go back over into that area so that's looking really good love the way that looks um, we got our other fish cave installed you can see that right in there so really cool fish cave gonna go up and under and pop out over here which looks so cool looks so natural with that little crevice so right now we're currently working on the peninsula for this guy so the liner is gonna be backfilled all the way to this they're currently dropping this guy in here somewhere and uh, we'll get that peninsula worked on all right, guys, so that's it for day two. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to hop out of the way, let Ed do his video. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Bama Bass, go check them out. Cool, beautiful property out here. Great people. Steven, I've met him. Um, haven't met his family yet, but uh, great people. Go check out their YouTube channel. Check out Ed, the mom professor. Um, if you guys don't already follow him, tons of in-depth knowledge and really cool builds that happen. Uh, it's an honor to be out here with him today. We appreciate you guys watching. 
we hope that you guys um, have enjoyed it so far. Put your questions down. Um, please let us know if you have any questions on a project of this size or just something that we're doing. And as always, like and comment and share the video. We would really appreciate that. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time.